Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. We're gonna be talking about some sexy summer date night fragrances. These are my top picks for my entire collection. Things that I would reach for when I wanna feel sultry, sexy, or um, you know, going on that social media date. You know, the DMs are, you know, going wild. <laughs> really, they're not. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, so these are the fragrances that I will definitely reach for when I plan on um, going on a sexy date night or just, you know, hanging out somewhere I wanna, where I want to be noticed or, you know, maybe flirt a little bit, you know, all that good stuff, that, that feminine, you know, energy, you know, so um, these fragrances are given a lot of that feminine sex not sexual energy, that sexy feminine energy that I think people will definitely love or the opposite sex or the same sex may definitely love on you. Uh, these are not the typical date night fragrances. Uh, they have a lot of jasmine and you know that jasmine is definitely a human attractor. It's almost like hedione and pheromones. They call it the flower of love, the flower of sexuality. Um, so yeah, find a fragrance with nothing but jasmine in it, y'all, and hopefully you will attract with a heavy jasmine, and hopefully you will attract the person that you want to. So we're gonna get into these fragrances, y'all. Uh, please continue to watch. Thumbs up, you know, thumbs down, whatever, thumbs up. Um, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells. Uh, follow me over on Instagram and y'all let's get started with these sexy summer sultry fragrances that do absolutely amazing in the heat okay so the very first one we're going to start with is uh one by the house of Mimo Paris there was there were several from this house that I wanted to include tamarindo has a beautiful like pineapple fruity note as well uh a little heavy on the patchouli for the summer though but Lolly Bella is not so heavy on the patchouli in here it gives you more of a tropical vibe with the coconut it has to tobacco in here tobacco leaf to be exact but it's more of a lighter tobacco look at the stunning bottle you know i love actually love the bottles that you can see through um with the emblems on the back versus the new opaque bottles that they have out now i love these clear bottles they're a little more elegant to me so in the lolly belly you have your coconut peony rose you have some orchid uh you have some incense labdanum jasmine vanilla and tobacco leaf you can definitely wear this fragrance in the summertime it's not too heavy on the, there's patchouli in here as well but not too heavy on the patchouli like tamarindo and a lot of the other fragrances from the house because memo paris they do love patchouli okay um just like uh what is it theodore's calatini's he loves patchouli uh but this one is light it's airy it's fresh it gives you a little bit of depth and fruity more tropicalness at the same time but not that bright citrusy fruitiness this is a sexy seductive more of a tropical fruity fragrance fragrance um that coconut makes it a little powdery y'all but it's beautiful i i absolutely there's elong elong in here i think you know i absolutely love lolly bella in the summertime but i get like a pineapple coconutty scent uh from this fragrance and the stunning bottle as well y'all get your nose on it lolly bella mimo pears so the next one we're going to talk about is one that I wore the other day and I was like, oh, this is creamy. This is coconutty. This is good. This is like upscale and sexy. Um, this is unisex, but it's slightly to me feminine leaning because of the sweet, creamy coconut uh, and the sandalwood scent in this fragrance. Um, this is Fragrance Dubois and this is Santal Complete. So in Santal Complete, um, it's kind of woody and a little powdery, but more creamy for me. Um, you have your lemon, violet, black pepper, sandalwood wood amber musk uh but it is i say black pepper but it's just warm spicy it's not like a huge black pepper scent you know in this fragrance but it just it kind of hides you know kind of like a watered down warm spicy scent but you definitely get that coconut you get the warmth from this fragrance absolutely beautiful amazing tropical fragrance for the summer that gives you a lot of depth a lot of sexiness a little woodiness and a creamy coconut y'all get your nose on it scent complete 
I love this fragrance. People say the performance is not that great. It performs well on me. Six, I would say five to six hours on my skin uh, because I did wear this about three days ago. And then on my clothes, it gives me at least eight to 10 hours. But y'all know that I spray about 15, 20 times. So I'm getting what I need from this fragrance. All right. And it has been sitting for a couple years. So um, yeah, the juice is a little more concentrated. All right. Get your nose on it. All right, the next one is my scent of the day um, that I'm actually wearing. It's by the house. It's by the house of Armani Privé, and uh, I love Rouge Malachite. You know, I love Pivon Suzu. I love um, uh, so many. Um, magenta tanzanite you know all of these and i also love a blue turquoise blue turquoise is rich it's thick it's a little heavy but it's airy enough for the summer here you get a salty kind of ozonic aquatic vanilla in here this fragrance is warm spicy and i think it has a note of black pepper and salt in here as well um so in here you have your salt incense black pepper elongi long a good dose of cipria oil and jasmine to be exact y'all sandalwood and vanilla um this is not a safe blind buy i blind bought it but i absolutely love it it's projecting, it's a beast mode fragrance, but you're definitely gonna get a lot of that warm, spicy, vanilla, jasmine, sandalwood, a little bit of brightness from that Ylang Ylang, but I absolutely love this fragrance, but it's like a salty vanilla. No, it's not like Paco Rabanne, uh, none of those, because that one is a little a little more ambery, and um, yeah, the amber smells synthetic to me in that fragrance, but this one right here, it's like an all natural, incense -y, warm, spicy vanilla with brightness, and I absolutely love it, y'all. And this is Blue Turquoise by Armani Privé. All right, the next one is one that I absolutely love. I wore it out. I just did a reel on Instagram over on Costa Rica. I remember I took this fragrance with me to Costa Rica. Um, and this is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. I love this fragrance. It's like a powdery white and yellow floral. Definitely feminine. It's a beast, you know. It's kind of like powdered sugared coconuts or sugar powdered coconuts you know the ones that you buy in the bag from trader joe's uh but anyway they're like coconut sticks with powdered sugar on them absolutely um they're delicious y'all so in here um you have your like i said it's a coconutty white floral so you have your coconut milk you have some honeysuckle some pear blossom tuberose jasmine every floral in the book you have some jasmine sandback you have some gardena you you have some vanilla um you have some sandalwood and you have some ambrette y'all it's a little musky musky yellow and white florals it smells very bright um it smells like the sun you know it smells like coconut and the sun y'all it's just an absolutely beautiful fragrance, but you get a good dose of jasmine in here, coconutty jasmine and yellow florals, y'all. Get your nose on it. It's beautiful, utopia, amazing for the summer. Um, men are so attracted to this fragrance. You will get loads of compliments, y'all. It's beautiful. Get your nose on it. I wanted a backup bottle, but I still got a, a ways to go. Hopefully, they never discontinue this because it's definitely a summer love for me, y'all. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is Beautiful from the house of Tiziana Terenzi, and this is Talia. Um, this is like my very favorite oud, you know, my number one oud fragrance that I absolutely love wearing in the summer. In here, you have some rose. That I think there's some, oh, it smells like passion fruit as well. But there's pear in here. There's peach in here. Uh, the Bulgarian rose is, is a little jammy sweet. Um, you have a beautiful Cambodian oud. It's musky. It's vanilla. Um, there's also heliotrope and ylang ylang in here. Like I said, this is my favorite Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. Yes, I do love Haley. Haley's bright, a little more citrusy, warm, spicy from the cinnamon. Amazing fragrance to wear in the summer as well. Super sexy, all of that. But Talia, y'all, with this Cambodian oud in here is absolutely amazing. Y'all know that the ouds from Eastern Asia or from Asia, um, they're a little sweeter. So Loatian oud, Cambodian oud are the ouds that I absolutely love. And y'all, Talia is absolutely amazing very compliment getting be smoked sexy and will definitely lure them in y'all get your nose on them talia orza orza is not so um 
sexy to me. It's a little more bright, fun, you know, very upscale as well. But Talia, that Cambodian oud and that ja that jasmine sand back in there just adds a little bit of a sultry and sexiness and sophistication to the um, to you. Okay, um, that's what the fragrance adds to you. Okay. All right. Anyway, we're gonna talk about. I said I was gonna stop saying anyway because I've been saying that a lot. And I'm going to choose my words wisely, slow down when I'm doing my reviews, because sometimes I go back and watch them, y'all. And I'm like, I just said anyway, like 20 times in like one minute, okay? So this is Martin Mikalev's Glamour. <laughs> this is Glamour, y'all. This is basically alien with a lot of fruits, a lot of juicy fruits, okay? You definitely get a heavy dose of jasmine and some florals in here and a lot of fruits. So in here, um, like I said, this is glamour. So you have your apple, peach, saffron, plum, nutmeg, and a lot of jasmine. So just imagine adding, you know, the apple. You get a really good dose of apple, almost like the apple in um, one of another fragrance by um, what's the fragrance that Nisha's always talking about? Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, but anyway. Um, you get a really juicy, bright green apple in this fragrance. You get the peach in here. Um, you get some florals in here, a lot of jasmine. But basically alien, not a heady jasmine. But those fruits in here actually kind of simmers the jasmine down, you know, makes it a little more tolerable for most. I love alien, so it's tolerable. I, I love this one even more. I'd probably pick up this, Glamour, before I pick up alien. And I absolutely love Glamour. The bottle is just, their bottles are just absolutely gorgeous and super artistic. Uh, but anyway, I love this fragrance. When I tell you I wore this the other day and I spread, I wore it to bed, y'all, okay? Um, I was feeling super sultry. So I wore Glamour to bed. I don't know why I decided to wear it to bed, but I did. It's on. It was on my robe for three days, okay? Took my robe off, hung it up, because I only wear, wear the robe to bed. Hung it up, wore it three days later, and I was like... I still smell glamour. So y'all, this fragrance is a beast. I absolutely love it. But if you want like a little like alien vibes, but with some fruits as well, then you need to try this one. And this one's amazing for the summer as well, even though it has like a really good dose of, you know, sexy jasmine inside, y'all. One of my favorite florals um, is jasmine. I love all florals. Jasmine, tuberose, rose. I even like a heady jasmine. Um, Narciso Rodriguez which is coming up in a review, Narciso, with that heady gardenia, the brightness from the gardenia. It's rich, it's a little powdery and creamy, y'all. Ooh, I love that fragrance. Um, it's the Cube, um, and it's Narciso, so if you like that fragrance, uh, if you like Gardenia, be looking out for my next review because we're going to talk about a lot of fragrances with Lily of the Valley. I am really on Lily of the Valley and Jasmine right now. Um, so I got a lot of fragrances with Lily of the Valley uh, coming up in that review, y'all. So be looking out, okay? So the next one we're going to talk about is one that I have been obsessing over lately and just sniffing. You know, this is my favorite uh, Italica, and then this is my favorite Zorja fragrance. Um, this is Ouverture. Ouverture is so amazing, but when I tell you the jasmine in here is jasmineine, okay? It is, y'all. It's warm, spicy. It's, I want to say mandarin, but it's orange. It's like orange peel, you know? You get that clementine or orange peel. You get, it almost smells a little creamy coconutty, but I think it's the creamy jasmine in here and the sandalwood, the combination. You get that fig leaf, a little bit of greenness, you know? It's absolutely stunning, gorgeous, unisex, super sexy. One of the sexiest here, one of the sexiest here today. Um, and I absolutely love it. You get that elong elong to brighten the fragrance up as well. But that sandalwood, the jasmine, y'all, the creaminess is just, mm, it's so good. It's really good. Uh, this was not a love it upon first sniff, you guys. It was real spicy because of the cinnamon inside, you know. But this is amazing. It definitely smells like a warm, tropical, sexy night where you have on like maybe a white slip dress or something, or maybe a champagne slip dress, some beautiful shoes, you know, maybe some, 
you know, maybe some rhinestone sandals or something. You're comfortable, you're sexy, you got your hair up in a bun, you know, like me, you have on some chandelier earrings and you're just smelling warm, spicy and, you know, uh, warm, spicy, figgy and, you know, very coconutty, y'all. Get your nose on Ouverture. I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, yeah, hence the big bottle. This is real sexy, okay? So get your nose on it. Man, woman, boy, like Sheree says, man, woman, boy, child, Whoever, get your nose on it. Super unisex, super duper sexy. Um, the next one, I went out of order. So the next one we're going to talk about is one that's super sexy as well. Hedione Jasmine in here. This is by the House of Initio. I love the honey in here. I love the apple blossom in here. I love the orchid in here, y'all. It's very bright, refreshing. Um, this fragrance gets me loads of compliments, you guys. Mm, it's so, 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 so good, y'all. But that apple blossom, the honey and the orchid, and like I said, it doesn't list it, but I, I get a lot of jasmine in this fragrance, some vanilla. It's a little creamy. It's fresh. It's airy at the same time. Um, but yes, let me see what else did I miss. Uh, oh, orange blossom in here as well, you guys. But this is definitely a very feminine, very fruity, um, very juicy yet sultry, sexy fragrance at the same time. I think it's the honey and the orange blossom. Uh, probably the musk as well, y'all. But I think there's Hedion in this one as well. Um, you know, anyway, it's beautiful. This is Addictive Vibrations. Get your nose on it. Absolutely amazing for the summer and so compliment getting, y'all. All right, so the next one we have, and we were not going to leave this out because this is ooh, so fresh, so refreshing, so very airy, slightly gourmand leaning, sexy, attractive. You know, I've got loads of compliments on this fragrance because I wore it to work three days in a row, y'all. So anyway, this is Navitus Parfum, and this is Ambrosia Imperial, y'all. Ambrosia Imperial is sexy. Um, who thinks of banana? Who thinks of sexy? Who thinks of banana and sexy within the same sentence? Me, okay? And AI, apparently. I love the note of banana. It is sweet. It is sexy. The image of the banana, all of that, y'all, okay? Um, it is gorgeous. Have you ever seen a gorgeous banana? I had one. I filmed one the other day. A gorgeous banana, y'all. <laughs> I'm a mess, okay? So, ooh, y'all, this is so good. Anyway, you get that caramel. I get loads of saffron from this fragrance. This is the ultimate sexy date night fragrance for whomever, okay? You get the caramel in here. You get the sweetness. You get the woodiness. You get the divana. You get loads of saffron. Y'all, you get loads of powdery, slightly powdery banana in this fragrance. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, okay? Um, anyway, one of, there's a nurse that's on my unit and, uh, I don't know if she subscribed to my channel yet, but she's new. Well, she's not on my unit. She's on my old unit. So one day somebody said, Marcy, I met somebody cause you know, I'm always bringing fragrances to work and people know me. They're like, oh, that's the perfume lady. No, I'm not the perfume lady. Okay. Um, I do, I'm a fragrance connoisseur. Okay. That's what you could call me and a fragrance lover. Okay. Um, so they were like, oh, Marcy, Manila, uh, a very beautiful nurse on the unit. I introduced her to the house of BDK. So she bought Gris Charnel. I think she got Rouge. Oh, I think she got Passy Swan as well. And this was a couple years ago. She said, I met somebody and I um, we have a new nurse on the unit. And she smells so, so good. And I asked her what she had on. And she said, Gris Charnel. So Manila was super shocked that she had on Gris Charnel. So Manila was like, oh my gosh, how do you know about Gris Charnel? Like none of the nurses are like perfume heads. So not too many know about Gris Charnel. Hardly any know about Gris Charnel or BDK. K to be exact. Um, and she was like, how do you know about Gris Charnel? You have to meet Marcy. Marcy introduced me to Gris Charnel. She introduced me to Passe Soie and some other stuff. So Manila came to get me in the ICU. So Manila was like, oh my gosh, Marcy, there's somebody over here that, um, cause it's a step down unit. She said, Marcy, there's somebody over here that has on Gris Charnel. I was like, who has on Gris Charnel at work? <laughs> Only me. I would wear Gris Charnel to work and like a oud, okay? Um, so anyway, a pretty oud, that is. So I went to meet her and I was like, oh my, she was like, oh, I didn't know who she was. I knew her name a little bit, but I was looking, trying to look at her badge while I was talking to another coworker. So she was like, oh, are you Marcy? I was like, oh, are you, are you the girl that had on the Gris Charnel? Are you the perfume lover? And she was like, yeah, we were super excited. Yeah, we we're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
life. Like, you know, literally like Valley girls, you know, California Valley girls. So we were hugging. I gave her a big hug. And um, I was like, you are a fraghead? And she's like, yeah, I am. And I said, yeah, Manila told me that you had on Grease Charnel the other day. And um, she's like, yeah. She was like, oh my gosh. She said, you are, are you a YouTuber? She was like, oh my gosh, I have to follow you. And all this, and we went back and forth for like a minute. It seemed like forever because we were super excited. And then she was like, what do you have on? You smell so good. And I was like, oh, I have on um, this new fragrance called Ambrosia Imperial. It's by Navitus in collaboration with another YouTuber. She was like, is it AI? I was like, oh my gosh, you know AI? Y'all, it was a whole moment in the hallway of the hospital. So she was like, oh my gosh, yes, I know AI the Great. And I was like, yeah, I said, this is her fragrance, Ambrosia Imperial. She said it smells so amazing. I was like, doesn't it? She was like, the sillage is amazing. She smelled it all down the hall. Anyway, enough of that story, y'all. Ambrosia Imperial, get your nose on it. We had a whole little episode about this fragrance, and it was so fun. And um, I don't know if she's watching, uh, but I got too busy to go give her my channel. But hopefully somebody else gave it to her on the unit because so many people in the entire hospital, managers, administration, know me by perfume. I, I pass out perfume decants all over the place. I pass out samples to the housekeepers, like whoever, y'all. I'm always making um like the 10 ml travel sizes for people, uh, but a, a lot of them only like designers. So I'm trying to get them into niche because they like more of the fruity, airy, the fresh fragrances. Um, unless you're like a frag head, like my friend um, on the other unit, y'all. So anyway, Ambrosia Imperial brought us Imperial brought us so much joy that, that day, and she said the sillage was amazing, and yeah, it's super sexy. Everybody loved this. That came encounter. I was smelling the whole unit up, y'all. Anyway, get your nose on it, okay? Um, that was like a whole five minutes, okay? So anyway, um, when I initially smelled this fragrance, um, I wasn't too much of a fan because um, I didn't give it a chance. So since I've been like loving Jasmine lately, I said, you know what? I'm going to revisit this. So I revisited this fragrance about three weeks ago. And um, I do have Coral Fantasy, uh, born in, born, Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, which is a fresh, juicy um, uh, fragrance for the summertime, more for the hot, like 90 degree weather days. Um, this one, I would say 80 degree um, or less in the summer, but maybe summer nights, y'all, summer date night. Um, and this is Valentino. This is Donna Born in Roma Intense. I love this fragrance, y'all. Now, what I was getting from this fragrance, now I'm getting a lot of sexy, creamy jasmine. It says vanilla orchid to the top, but I don't get a lot of vanilla orchid in this fragrance like I get in the original or bourbon vanilla, you know? I don't get a lot of sweet bourbon vanilla like I do in the original. I get loads of jasmine and I'm getting a yellow floral in this fragrance. It doesn't list it. I'm getting sandalwood in here and I'm getting a, a, a little bit of a yellow floral in here um, on top of a beautiful creamy jasmine and sandalwood. They'll never tell us, but I smell it, y'all. Okay, um, anyway, it's such a beautiful, sexy. This is uh, her older sister, okay? This is Donna Born and Roma's sexy older sister um, that is just, you know, she's, she's living life, okay? She's definitely living life. Um, Coral Fantasy is the little sister and, you know, Donna is the middle sister, okay? Um, <laughs> anyway, this is beautiful. A beautiful jasmine, sexy date night fragrance that I have been absolutely loving, y'all. I wore this at least twice. Um, and tested it a couple times on my arm overnight. Love it. Uh, lasts me about eight hours. Good projection. Um, the way that I spray, good projection. Um, it's beautiful, y'all. Get your nose on it. Give it another chance. If you were like me and you didn't give it a good chance the first time, wear it full body, okay? Because I had to wear it full body in order to give it a... Um, a really good chance at, you know, loving it. But I do love it, y'all. Okay, get your nose on it. Yes, Latanya, me and Latanya were talking about this. I do love it now, okay? 
Because I remember I was saying, uh, maybe like mix it with the, I was like, no, that's not for me. Uh, maybe mix it with the other one, the original, the OG. Um, and you know, it'll kind of sweeten it up a little bit, but I kind of like it like that because it's super sexy. Um, it doesn't have to be sweet to be sexy, y'all, okay? Anyway, the last one, another Jasmine fragrance. This is beautiful. Jasmine Des Ans, I think it's pronounced, uh, by Christian Dior, the Privé line or the private line. Um, in here, you have your apricot, osmanthus, you have some peach, you have loads of creamy jasmine, sandalwood, it's a little musky. Um, you have your vanilla, bergamot, there's white musk in here, and loads of jasmine. I've gotten several compliments on this fragrance. It's beautiful. It's sophisticated. Um, you want to wear this fragrance when you're dressed up looking really pretty, uh, maybe in a beautiful dress or like a sexy white linen dress, you know, but it's beautiful. It's airy. You definitely get that apricot-y osmanthus, um, a little peachy, but more of an apricot -y scent from this fragrance, but creamy, creamy jasmine. I get some sandalwood, beautiful white musk. Um, this is very, very attracting and very compliment getting get your nose on it. I brought this over in Canada uh, when I met my girl Niche, so it'll always remind me of Canada and that cold weather in Canada. And I got two compliments when I did wear this over in Canada, one in the lobby of the hotel and one while I was actually in the department store when someone had walked over um, to the Dior perfumes because I sprayed this like crazy, y'all. Anyway, Jasmine, does that. if you like Jasmine, if you like an as Osmanthus, apricotty, peachy, airy fragrance, then you definitely get your nose on this fragrance okay anyway y'all that is it uh that was my top 10 sexy date night fragrances go out into the world spread amazing sillage do good be good all of that and y'all get your nose on some sexy jasmine this summer be a date night with your husband your boo your mate your lover whoever it may be get some sexy floral jasmine in your life y'all all right bye-bye love you all bye-bye